Institution with small beginnings, Lion Choice has been feeding hungry customers for decades. It all started back in 1967 in Bolwyn. News 4's Steve Harris traces the tasty origins behind the lion. 1967. I love the wind. To Sir With Love topped the singles charts. The Andy Griffith Show was top on the tube. Think? No. The Graduate made the most money at the movies. And Marv Gibbs and Arthur Morey opened a restaurant in Baldwin called Brittany Beef. Families were going back to work. Moms and dads were both working. Dual, the first part of dual income families at that time. And wanting to find um, a great alternative um, that could be uh, served to families and feel really proud of and good food. Um, and they settled on roast beef. And eventually a new name that was a nod to an old saying meaning the best of something. Lion's Choice. It's real roast beef and we roast it in every store every day, three to five hours. That one store eventually became two, then three. And they built um, stores as, you know, the business success allowed them to do it. In 2013, they sold the company to Millstone Capital. Now there are more than 30 stores in the St. Louis area, Illinois, and Kansas City. Known for their fries, custard, and of course, roast beef sandwiches, they're not afraid to try new things, but always the same business model. The founders were big on high quality product, served in a friendly environment with people who um, they, they considered and dealt with as family. And I think we've tried to continue that. A mission that's paid off. See, last year for the second time, they were named best fast food restaurant in Missouri by Food and Wine Magazine. Can I get That's something they're proud of, as well as calling St. Louis home. It's a food town. People respect um, businesses that are homegrown. And people really do um, admire um, people that do it right and businesses that do food right. Sprinkle on a little of that seasoning they call magic dust. And, well, that's a recipe for a St. Louis success story. Steve Harris, News 4. We're always